Hello, everybody. So, um, today I went to Lush, the cosmetic store, for the first time, and this is probably the biggest, biggest, I can't even speak, Lush haul, because I'm just, like, so excited, ever. And, um, well, not ever, but people have bought, like, everything, but I find this to be very, a very big Lush haul. So, um, let me start with, like, bath bombs and, like, bubble bars. So, let me start, my first one that I got was a pop in the bath which I thought was so cute. It's like a little flower. That was really cute. Um, then um, I also got this Dorothy. This is so cute, I thought. It was like, you know, somewhere of the rainbow. Dorothy um, but, um, bath bomb. And I think it kind of looks more like a piece of sushi than it does a rainbow, but it's still like a cute concept. Um, then... Oh, no, I'm not going to do that one yet. Um, then I got, I don't want to take it out because it's really, like, crummy. No, not crummy, like, in a bad way, but, like, it's, like, flaky and, like, there's a bunch of dust. Um, it, this is the Twilight one, and it changes colors in the bath, which I thought was really cool. Then I got the Mrs. Whippy, which smells like strawberry and cream. And I also, um, it's a very long haul. Um, then I got, this is one of my favorites. I think it smells really good. This is the Rose Jam, like the macaroon, I like to call it, like a bubble room. And it's based off of the macaroon, the, like, um, pastry. And this one smells like rose. And it comes in, like, orange and chocolate and then, like, another one. But I'm not sure. Then, um, I also, this is my last bath bomb that I got. But I was, like, very drawn to this. This is the Phoenix Rising, and I was very drawn to it because it smells like apples and cinnamon, and it has a very cool packaging, so I just was really, like, really drawn to it. Um, and for, like, um, bubble bars and bath melts, as, like, a, as a bubble bar, I think this is a bubble bar, yeah. This is, um, the comforter and I was really drawn to the design and how it smells and a bunch of YouTubers who do like Lush hauls they really do recommend it so I thought it was cool and then I got the floating island which smells like cupcakes and it's also that so now with hair I um I went with my mom so she got a lot of hair stuff but I just got the um curly whirly you can see curly whirly shampoo and it has kind of a weird texture to it, but it smells, oh, the hiccups, really good. And um, I thought was what was really cute about, like, the, I love how it's, like, a little tub. And you could see, like, who made it and, like, what's made out of. I can't pronounce his name because it's, like, a, I can't even, like, read it. But he seems very nice, so I bet he, I don't know. But... Then I got, um, that was my hair, like, stuff, and then I got this mask of Mag, Magna Minty, and Molly made it, and this is a mask for your face and body, and I do, um, if you really like minty, I do really recommend getting this, because this was, like, I like mint, but, like, this is, like, very minty and very, like, fresh, and then, um, I also got, as like a shower gel, I got this Flying Fox, and um, I really, really like the smell of this, and um, it this was made by um, Susan, and, I, sorry, I have like a thing on it, I'm gonna, like, the smell is really, like, this is, I, um, I smelled all of them at the store, and this one was, um, my favorite, probably. No, not probably. Yeah, it smells, like, really, like, um, not musky, I would say, but more, like, a perfumey smell, and I really like that. Some people don't. Um, ooh! There's so many things, I don't know what to share. I got this Vanishing Cream. It's a great facial moisturizer, and it's good if you have sensitive skin or acne-prone skin. And, um, it looks like this, and it smells very fresh and very clean, and I like that for my, like, face. Then I got this Helping Hands hand cream, and this is, um, this smells so good, and it's really good if you have very sensitive skin, if you have eczema, 
um, which I don't, but um, if you do, then I think so. Um, ooh, I also got this almond coconut smoothie, which I really liked. And this smells like almond and coconuts and deliciousness. And I was very, very drawn to this. Um, I got so many, I got so much stuff. Oh my god. Then I got this Vanilla Delight Hand and Body Cream. It just smells like so amazing and I, wow. Um, uh, then I got this Pharmacy Fresh Face Soap and I cut it, uh, there's actually, there's a, um, I actually got it cut into three little things because I thought that that was just easier and better and I enjoyed that one. I got this is, I got a Lush tin, which I thought was really cute so your soap doesn't go bad. And I got, this is Buffy, and this is like an exfoliant bar. Um, oh! That was just my tin going like smack. Um, and then I also got a Lush tin as well for this. I think this is called Friends with Benefits, and um, this smells like cocoa butter and delicious and I really do like this. Then as we're going down to like our final one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, final ten, um, I got this um, tree water. I actually got two of these, I think. The tree water, which I thought smelled really good. And this is toner. It's good for sensitive skin and, you know, all that. Then, how many did I get? Oh, um, then I got, this is a tea tree cleanser, and it's called Grease Lightning. And this is good if you have greasy skin, obviously, from the name. Then, I got, um, this is a Honey Trap Lip, um, Balm, and this is supposed to be very good. I have, um, and my lips, they get really dry. This is great. I, I only have one complaint about this. And it's just that it's, like, when you first get it, it's, like, very hard, you know, get some on your lips. But other than that, but just, like, the first time that you buy it, and then people say that it gets smoother. But I'm, everything else is wonderful. Then I got this Sweet Lips Lip Scrub. And um, they were three flavors. Mint, Julep, Bubblegum, and this. And I was drawn to this one more. I think it smelled good. The Bubblegum, um, a lot of people really love the Bubblegum. But it was really sweet, and I just, like, was like, oh, my God. Then I got this, um, Lush actually has really good foundation, if you didn't know. I got this color su supplement. Mine is light pink, and, um, it was, um, I really liked it. So, um, and the woman who was working there helped me find it. She was, like, the employees at Lush are really, like, good at their job. Well, at least I hope they would be. Um, then I got two, like, gift baskets. This is, like, the Rockstar soap that, um, I got. And, um, this, and, uh, Space Girl, this bath bomb. And I got this for my friend Ellie, because she really likes this kind of stuff. And then, oh, this is really cute that I got myself as well. And this is called, um, Blooming Beautiful. And I thought this was really, really cute. And it was just, like, great. And that was my Lush haul. So in a total, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. This makes it 27. And this is the Whipstick Lip Balm. And so, um... Basically, go to Lush. You will fall in love with it. You, I still like Bath and Body Works, but it doesn't really compare to what Lush is. And all the stuff is supposed to be organic and nice. And I just really love Lush. So I hope that this video was entertaining to watch. And I was have been waiting to go here for like probably like two months now, and I'm just totally in love with it. So go to Lush. Okay, bye.